What's up guys, Coop here, and today we have some important news from World of Warcraft. I'm not even going to tell you what it is, you guys are just going to see, and I'm going to describe it to you. Alright, let's jump in. Alright, so they announced what the Drain Eyes look like, but first of all, look at the Drain Eye female's new butt. I mean, ugh, I love it. I, I like a little bit of hair on my girl's butt, you know what I mean? And look at that tail, that's nice, that's nice. Nice and firm. It's good to go. So, obviously... Blizzard knows what they're doing. I mean, look at that butt. That is amazing. We don't need no tails. And I like my woman to be a little bit more muscular. You know what I mean? So, overall, good job, Blizzard. I, I, I enjoy this. Next, we get to look at the faces. Uh, the faces look pretty good. Um, You have the uh, old model, which she looks all pretty and stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like a little bit more derpiness in my girl's face. You know what I mean? I mean, look at how choppy the hair looks. It kind of gives it that nostalgia look of kind of Burning Crusade. I mean, look at the second picture. The hair is obviously chopping and spreading in all different places. And look at the roundness of her face. I mean, her lips now kind of pump out. So, that is perfect. Thank you, Blizzard, for uh, making this model. I, 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 I love it. I love it a lot. Lastly, we get to look at the front view. Uh, the front view... Um, I mean, I mean, just look at her. Uh, she's got hair on her legs and everything. Now, now the drain are, are truly one with the goat, and I am enjoying that a lot. Uh, overall, they look a lot more muscular and hairy, and I am cool with that because now they are one with the goat people. So now they can officially be goat people. And my most favorite thing, Mortal Kombat for World of Warcraft. I mean, just look at that. Look at that picture. That's Mancrick's wife, and he's crying in the background. Oh, I mean, this is just such a great game. I can't wait to play this. Uh, it should be coming out very soon. I mean, look at it. Look at that Baneling. He's just annihilating Mancrick's wife right there. So, bravo to Blizzard. I think this is going to be a top seller. Ooh, look at this, guys. Advanced pet battling. Now your pet battles uh, can have armor and more advanced spells. I mean, look at that. Look at that little treasure goblin. He definitely needed those shoulder pads, and look at how advanced he looks. Look how mean he looks. If I saw one of those things, I would be scared shitless. I'm just saying, so I think this is going to be an amazing feature. I'm a big pet battler myself, and we have the most important feature. Drum roll, please. It is faction changing in Warlords of Draenor. So, you pretty much can do a giant quest line uh, helping out the goblins, and pretty much in the end, you can switch your faction. Now, this is kind of cool, and it's definitely a nice little feature. They have a little bit of a backstory and all that. Check it out on MMO Champion. And I think it'd be kind of cool, because I always wanted my Tarn to be one with the, you know, Stormwind. And I always wanted my uh, Gnome to be part of Orgrimmar, you know? Because you know how the Horde loved the Gnomes. I mean, Gnomes would be... They, they, they need some help, too. I mean, big, green, evil-looking races with a gnome. I mean, I mean, what what could go wrong there? So, overall, I have to say this is going to be the best feature ever in the game. So, all right, guys, that was my look at the new uh, features and things that are coming out with Warlords of Draenor. And I will see you guys next time. And always remember, April Fool's.